what kind of video do you want to do if you want to do a youtube video with me let me know what kind of video right now is not the time to be bothering me sir please jesus you it's un you don't care hey y'all welcome back to another video it is the one and only to kyla diary and you are back with another story time it is wednesday it is november 29th vlogmas is one day away like it starts december 1st and i am super excited i'm too happy i can't wait for this experience because who do i got tea that i've been waiting to be told do i got tea do i got wood stuff that happened in my life that been waited to be told i do but y'all i'm gonna get y'all my current subscriber count before the month of november is over i am so excited about this month because you just know december is gonna eat so my current subscriber count right now is 4767 <laughs> yeah i'm always a bad thousand but I want to give my last weekly Wednesday shout out. It is to all my baby that is from around this world. Because I was looking at everybody coming. Everybody was coming, telling me where they from. And I got to give y'all some shout outs because what? Okay, first we're going to start off Ghost Dot Fairy from California. Oh, what? <laughs> Unicorn. Oh, my God. I don't know how to say this. Unicorn Mammy Eunice. 2620 all the way from South Africa. Oh shit, oh shit. Redhead 7256 all the way from the Bahamas. Oh, <laughs> Shatavia. Oh my god, I can't pronounce it, girl. Shatavia Uniki 3475 all the way from Texas. <laughs> you go, y'all. Y'all is fucking with me. Then we got another one, Casey. Her, her, <clears throat> Casey Hondo 5561 all the way from Jersey. <laughs> Y'all, oh my god. And then we got another one, Midnight Loner 321 all the way from <clears throat> Zimbabwe. Yeah, Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I said that right, but hey. Bye. And then we got another one, Denia Johnson 1455 all the way from Cali. Hey, and then we got two more. One is sexy black dot four four all the way from Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota. The Momo to Corey X Ken Sheen Bonnet. I hope I said that right. If I did, my bad. Um, coming from Cali. <laughs> yes, y'all is fucking with me from all over the world. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I mean. Y'all fucks with me. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. But y'all, shout out to y'all. Y'all are the supporters of this week. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, that really means a lot to me to know that y'all watching me from all over the world right now. Bahamas, Africa, what's up? But yeah, so let's talk about Vlogmas. As we all know, Vlogmas, I am including myself in Vlogmas 2023 in December. Started December 1st. I will be dropping my first Vlogmas story time video. <laughs> I will be dropping my first story time Vlogmas video. Um, like I said before, um, if y'all are new here, if y'all didn't hear me about when I was talking about my Vlogmas video, I will be posting three times a week man three times a week bro it ain't nothing i can't do bro i'm i'm, I'm okay three times a week um <clears throat> i won't be doing every day of vlogmas <clears throat> because i am in school i won't be able to be with y'all every freaking day because i am a college student and stuff like that so i really just wanted to let y'all know that i will be doing vlogmas if y'all haven't heard it already um three times a week um I don't have no set days. Y'all just gotta be on P. Y'all just gotta be on point. Y'all gotta be on point with y'all notifications on. Cause you don't wanna miss this. Y'all, all the videos will be shorter. If the video's not shorter, I won't be able to edit how I want to. Cause I wanna edit like to my best ability. I don't wanna just throw anything out there. I need to make sure it's perfect in my craft. How I like to edit and how I'm like how I like to upload. So the videos will be 30 minutes. Um 
30, 25 to 30 minutes. Oh. But y'all, that's all I got to run down through the beginning of this intro. I'm on the road to 5,000. Get me to 5,000 at the end of December. At the end of December, I need to be at 5,000. I think I'm going to be there. So, hey, hey, don't call me. I know I'm going to be there. So, yes, y'all. <laughs> I'm so excited. So, let's get straight into the video, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I love y'all. Go to the next slide. So, so this took place in 2020 of COVID year. So, in 2020 of COVID year, I had got sick. So, I had got sick in March. The first day, no, the first day on month, COVID, we had to stop going to school was March, y'all. I got sick in March, like right after we left school. <laughs> I got sick and I had to go to the hospital. Like, I was feeling bad. Like, I was not feeling good at all. Like, I had no energy to get up, no energy to even think, no energy to freaking move. And I'm just like, I don't think it's COVID. Me personally, I don't feel like I had COVID. Or maybe I had COVID before COVID was COVID. But I ain't feel like I had COVID. You feel me? Like, I feel like I just had a natural sick. So, since I'm feeling like I got a natural sick, I'm telling my mama, can you give me some Night Quill? Can you give me some Day Quill? Can you give me some ibuprofen? Can you give me some, um, what's that pink stuff that go in your stomach? Um, I can't think of it. <laughs> I can't think of the, um, the stomach, um, syrup. It's like, I can't think of it. It's real pink. It tastes like bubble gum. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you do, you do. If you don't, you know. Let me know in the comments what it's called because I can't think of it. But anywho, I had asked her to take, um, I was asking her to go give me all this stuff because I cannot move. Like, I'm just sitting here laying down every day, waking up sick as fuck. Sick as hell. I can't do nothing. I literally can't. So, I'm damn near on my deathbed. I'm damn near on my deathbed. <laughs> literally. So, I'm like, man, look, I'm going to take this up with God. I'm not going to fight this sickness. If I can't get unsick, God, Jesus, you got the will. Literally. You got the will because I don't know what's going on. We just... Got called and said we got two weeks off of school. Come on, come on. I'm trying to be outside. Come on, you know, this is the beginning of COVID, bro. Two weeks off of school, okay, bad, okay. <sighs> I'm sick as hell. So, my mama was like, I should go to the hospital. So, I'm like, I don't mind going to the hospital, but like, hey, can you call the ambulance here because I really cannot physically walk to go take a shit or walk to go downstairs to get in the ambulance truck you feel me i was literally not feeling myself and since i wasn't feeling myself i just couldn't walk or nothing so my mama called the ambulance and stuff because she knew something was wrong with me but i didn't know like what it was we thought it was like a sickness but that ain't no damn natural sickness that's like some damn death bed type shit that's like some damn death sickness i ain't know what damn sickness that damn was because i damn sure wasn't living i was just a soul walking not even a soul, an empty body, literally. So, <laughs> since I was an empty body walking, um, they called the, she called the ambulance and the ambulance came upstairs. They hit the bed laid out. They put me on the bed. Y'all, I just thought I was like special that moment. Because it's like, damn, y'all doing all this access to me. Y'all taking care of me. Y'all getting me up at my bed, putting me on a damn car thing. Like, what is they call? One of the info? I can't think of the name. But y'all put me on that. But that ain't nowhere you really want to be. But it's just like in the moment back then. I'm like, oh, this is five star. Like, this is five star motherfucking hotel room. Like, a hotel room. Five star service. Like, I'm literally getting catered to. Putting people. Okay, maybe, never mind. <laughs> I'm over exaggerating because I should not be, like, excited to be picked up on this damn emblems car thing. So, they uh, put me on there and they take me downstairs. So, I'm just riding through the hallway on the, on the car thingy looking around, laying down, looking around, just looking around. I was mad as hell that I was even sick to begin with because, like, I'm two weeks out of school. I want to go outside. Like, there's no way you did this shit to me. There's no way. There's no way you did this to me. So, boom, we get in the ambulance um, truck. They put us in the back of the ambulance truck. And then it was so embarrassing because everybody was looking at me on this damn ambulance bed. Getting escorted out this damn building. Like, it's one thing to do it if 
you ain't living no living in no apartment, but you living in an apartment and people see you. Oh, they they gonna have something to say. I don't know. I just always saw the door shit. <laughs> so I just know these motherfuckers is talking like, look at her on this damn ambulance bed, or oh my god, is she okay? Or is she gonna die? Or what happened to her? Like nosy people, like just nosy. And I'm nosy myself, but like to a certain extent, I always say that like to a certain extent, like bitch, match your business. Bitch, match your business. Okay. So anyway, I'm in the back of the MLM truck. We headed to the hospital. We headed to Mount Sinai House, Mount Sinai Hospital. And when we got to Mount Sinai Hospital, y'all, it was too many goddamn people. Too many goddamn people in Mount Sinai Hospital. But like, I just wasn't feeling my best. And I really didn't care, like, who was all there. So, they take me off the bed, and they put me in a wheelchair. So, they take me off the bed and put me in a wheelchair inside the Mount Sinai Hospital. So, basically, my mama had to go up there and tell them, like, what's wrong with me and why I should go before all these people. And I don't feel like, I don't feel like um, that was a problem because we called in. We called for the emblems. Y'all should already had a report about me coming in. Because y'all knew who y'all was sending to come get me. You feel me? Like, fuck. Fuck. I mean, I'm not going to say forget all these people. But, like, listen. I was here first. For real. If you really think about it, I was really here first. Because I had got, I had to get escorted here. <laughs> but, anyway. She go up there and talk to them. Tell them, like, what I got going on. And, like, why I should go first. And, like, why they should actually take care of me. Because, like, y'all, I swear to God, I'm on this bed diet. Stomach doing 360 miles backflips. Stomach doing 365 backflips. Like, I could not take it. Like, I was literally in distress. Literally fucked up. Like, literally sick to my stomach. Like, y'all playing. So, <laughs> but it was a lot of other people that sick too. So, I was just, I wasn't trying to think about myself in that moment. But right now, I'm in. Because, listen, I'm, I'm probably on my last two breaths. God forgive me, thank you God for getting me out of the situation. But like, I'm probably on my last two breaths. So, I'm sitting there waiting on my mama to come back. A boy walk up to me. A boy walk up to me and say, what's wrong with you? Like a random ass boy. No, not a random ass boy, but like a young man walked up to me and was like, what's wrong with you? And I'm just sitting in this thing on wheelchair, not looking overly sick. You, My nose is red. My eyes is watering. I don't got a wig on. I'm sick. What does it, what, what can you, when you look at me, what does it look like? Healthiness? Because it's not, I'm not healthy right now at all. I should have been taking my vitamins. I should have got the flu shot. I was in my head sick when he asked me this question. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, get the fuck out of my face. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> so, he asked me that and I'm just like, I stare at him like, sir, I'm sick. But he came up there to ask me that because he must heard my mama up in the front telling him, like, why I'm sick and why I need to go first. And he was telling me, like, um, so I told him, like, I'm sick. And he was like, okay, look around you. Everybody in here is sick. But what makes you different? And I'm just like, damn, what the fuck? What the fuck you mean? Like, damn, that shit low-key hurt the soul because, excuse me, we, we, damn, like, I can't be sick. I can't be sicker than these bitches. <laughs> like, I can't be sicker. Like, y'all really, you really put on my top right now. Like, for real. So, <laughs> he said that, and it was like, this nigga got a rude awakening. Back up. Everybody back up. I'm gonna get off this wheelchair whoop his ass. Back up. I'm sick. <laughs> Come on, man. So, <laughs> he said that, and I'm just in my head, like, bro, I'm gonna ignore him. He said that shit pissed me off. That shit pissed me off. I'm so glad my mama had ended up walking back up. And she was like, Dari, who this? And mom was like, I don't know. I don't know who that man is. I don't even know why he over here talking to me. I had no idea who he was. Never met him in my life, probably. I don't know if I knew him. But right now, I didn't know him. <laughs> right now, I ain't know him. So she was like, I'm going to need you to back up for me, baby. Like, you know, just telling him back up for me, baby. And he was like, okay, sorry, mama. This is not told mama, like, don't call my mama if I don't know you. <laughs> mama. Mama. No. So, he um, ended up backing up, but he didn't walk away. He's still standing there. And my mama behind me, like, holding my wheelchair. Like, you know, behind me with, you know, caring about me. So, he's standing in front of me, like, so feet back, but in front of me. So, I'm in my head, like, what do this nigga 
Is he cool? Is he off something? Like, you never know in Chicago. These people be off something. You just can't tell because they just, they seem like they always act like that. So, <laughs> I'm like, can I help you with something else, boy? He was like, no. Nah. But I think I saw you around. And I'm like, no, nah, you ain't see me. He was like, I saw your 17th birthday vlog on YouTube. You do YouTube, right? And, and I'm just like... I'm really not trying to respond right now because, listen, I'm sick right now. Like, please catch me another time. Try to email me. Try to text me on Instagram, Facebook, or something. Right now is not the time to be bothering me, sir. Please. Jesus. You, it's un, you don't care. So, so, I'm like, yeah, I did a 17th birthday vlog. That was me. He was like, this nigga trying to network. So, I mean, this man is trying to network. So, he was like... Well, I'm a YouTuber. Here's my business card. I run a um, YouTube business. I do skits. Um, I'm just here to introduce myself because your face looked familiar. And I'm thinking like, hmm, maybe we could work something out. And I'm like, okay. I take the card and he walk away. He walk away and I'm looking at the card, y'all. It got his phone number. It got his email. It looked professional as fuck. And, you know, I'm always a person that's willing to learn something. Because if you, if you got all this, how do I get this? Like... I don't know. I'd be motivated to like do other shit because I never really had a bit. I never really had a business card, if that makes sense. I never had like. I ain't gonna say never because I think it was sometimes I went down and just. Oh no, it wasn't a business card. It was a business sticker that I had. But he had a business card, and I love that you was able to come up to talk to me and stuff like that. Like even when I'm sick, dead on my in my wheelchair, not trying to talk to you. Like I didn't understand. Like, I feel like he was just trying to see if that was me. And I'm, oh, I'm totally fine with that. I understand. But, like, come on, man. In a hospital? In a hospital? That's the, they, do you think this is the perfect time to talk to me? In the freaking hospital. <laughs> okay, gotcha. And so, um, he walked off. After he walked off, I started talking to my mama. And I'm, I started talking to my mama. And I'm like, Mom. She's like, yes, baby. I'm like, <coughs> He was weird. <coughs> I don't know what he was doing. <coughs> he wanted to collab with me, but I'm sick. <coughs> like, how do you want to collab with me and you see me in my deathbed? You see me in my death. You see me in my death wheelchair. You see me on my death wheelchair and you think, oh, this is my perfect opportunity. Let me get it while I can. But hey, do your big one. Hey, so boom. My mom was like, yeah, baby, I ain't know what he was doing. I thought he was trying to kidnap you or something. I thought he was going to run off with the wheelchair. And I'm going to be looking for you in, the in like, when in the movie scenes. Like, where's my baby? Where's my baby? Where's my baby? I'm like, my mom played too fucking much, y'all. Y'all really got to meet her. Like, I don't know if y'all met her already, but she played a lot. She played just like me. Like, in this serious situation, she played just like me. So, yeah, she said she thought he was going to come take me. And I'm like, oh, hell no. <laughs> all these cameras are here. I ain't say, oh, hell no, because y'all know how. Mm -hmm. I just said, oh, no, like, all these cameras in here. Somebody better <laughs> see something. And I'm going to scream. Oh, you never know what people could do. Probably. Mm -mm, that's not even speaking to it. But, yeah, I'm just like, oh, hell no. Like, I thought, I thought, I ain't no way I thought he was coming up here to do. I honestly didn't. That was the last thing that was in my head. Like, oh, he's coming to kidnap me and take me somewhere. Like, oh, my God, God forbid. Thank you. I hope this never happened. But, like, <clears throat> I was thrown off. So, guys. It's fast forward, I was in the hospital and they was taking good care of me. Yeah, after I had got released from the hospital and stuff, I was taking these dang on pills, y'all. I was taking these pills for like weeks, bruh. Taking these pills for weeks. No, not even weeks. It was like seven days. I was taking some pills. I forgot what kind of pills that was, but they were supposed to help me get my immune system back up. Because my immune system was going down because I wasn't taking no vitamins. I wasn't, you know, I was just being human. You can't just be human. You got to take care of human body. Anyway, if that makes sense, like, hmm. So, so that had passed. Fast forward to the end of March. So, back now, the end of March, it's been a whole month past, actually. And we haven't been back to school. So, we haven't been back to school. And it's just like, excuse me, hey, I want to go back to school. Like, dang, I miss my school friends. Like, it ain't the same no more. So, I'm hitting my school friends up. I hit my friends up, like, y'all, we should do something. We should do something. So they like, okay, well, let's go to an arcade. I know one by my house. So I'm like, mm, okay, I'm feeling better. I want to go outside. I got money. I got a hustle going on. Let's go outside. So my friend ended up coming to get me. <clears throat> my friend, the real one, bro. She came from all the way south to come west to go back south. I love people that do that because who? 
child. I would do it too. I ain't, ain't no pressure. But like, okay, my friend came to get me and we went to this arcade I saw. We at the arcade or what? Well, we get to the arcade and it's hella empty. When I say it's hella empty, y'all, it was nobody in there but me and my other friends. <laughs> uh, but y'all would look at that it's like, oh shit, I'm finna ball out. Y'all finna play this game, this game, this everybody not finna ball for me. Oh, hell yeah. No, you would think everybody would think like that. We didn't think like that. Like, we thought like, where the fuck is the world? Like, <laughs> we can't be the only people on this um, planet right now who want to go to the arcade. What we didn't know is everybody was getting sick after I had just gotten done getting sick. So, knowing that everybody getting sick, everybody ain't coming outside. So, I'm like, damn, okay. But, like, we never left because it was just like, hmm, maybe... Today just not a good day. Did we did go on like a damn fucking Thursday? But still, that doesn't even matter because if it's Thursday, you should still want to go to arcade. Maybe it's just the one we went to <laughs> or something. But we didn't understand what was going on in that scenario, so we kind of just went on with our life because we need to play the game. So I'm at the arcade or whatever. I got my uh, game card. I'm gonna go play. I'm a big ass kid when it comes to games because if it's a lot of games there, oh, I'm gonna have fun because if it's not a lot of games. At the dang old arcade, baby, I'm not, I'm not gonna fake entertain this fucking place. Do better. You need, you need to have more games in here. So I'm playing, I'm playing a game. Yeah, my favorite freaking game in the freaking world when I was skinny and little was that, you know, that big old circle game, and you jump over the little fake rope. Oh my god, that was my favorite fucking game. You jump, you jump, you jump. Ten years later. You jump and it get faster. You jump, you jump, and it get faster. Jump, 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 faster. Jump, 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 jump. It just get faster. It don't go slow. And you win a lot of tickets from that shit. Like, y'all, I used to be jumping in that bitch. Jumping it. Like, I used to be jumping in that bitch. Because, like, mm-mm. <laughs> I'm going to get all the tickets in this motherfucking place. Come on. But I was playing that game. And y'all, after that motherfucking game, I was sweaty as hell. Because it's like, bro, I'm jumping for hours. I'm, I'm losing, like, 15 pounds per jump. <laughs> per <Perchel. laughs> so after I get done playing that game I'm sweating I go sit down I'm like I'm hot as hell bitch I'm sweaty I'm hot time to go sit the fuck down boom I go sit down <laughs> I get on my phone I get on my phone and shit I see a message request so one thing about me I don't check my messages request but I will look at them so <laughs> I look at my messages request look at my messages request and it's the boy from um, the hospital who texts me like, yo, collab, what you trying to do? And I'm just like, I'm not trying to, I don't know. I was just, I don't know. I never cared about collabing back then, but y'all now, I don't collab at all. Like, I don't know, this situation kind of like scarred me. But I also did collab after this with other people, with other influencers. But this one specifically, I just got to talk about first. So, um... Boom, he texts me like, do you want to collab? And I'm like, I didn't text back, so I left the message request, like, open. Like, I seen the shit, but I never replied. So, um, fast forward, we still in the arcade or whatever. We still playing games after I get done being hot and sweaty and tired. And acting like a fucking kid in this motherfucking place. <laughs> acting like a kid in here. I finish, um, sitting down and I go play some games with my other friends. So, we end up doing bowling. Bowling be so freaking long, y'all. Bowling just takes so freaking, so much time. Like, especially when you lose it. It just feel like forever. And I used to suck at bowling. So, <laughs> I, this shit taking three years. Anywho, we back bowling. And I get a notification that he texts me again. So, I see the notification. And he sent a question mark some hours later. And I'm just like, mm. I asked my friends. I'm like, y'all, look at this. Should I collab with him with YouTube? Because y'all know I don't really do YouTube for real. But, like, you know, it'll be cool if I did collab with somebody on YouTube. They tell me, like, girl, yes, this could be the start of your career. Like, you could really just go out and go for it. So, I'm just like, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm always skeptical about people. And the way he kind of approached me made me nervous. He made me nervous. He made me scared. So, I don't know. So, she, my friends was like, girl, just do it. Just try it. You never know how shit go until you actually try that shit. Which was true. So, I'm like... Okay, I'll text them back. I open the um, message request. I accept it and shit like that. And I texted them like, when? When do you want to collab? 
He was like, I don't know yet, but let me get your number so I can contact you. And I'm just like, oh, shit. He want to contact me more. Ah, oh, shit, this is shit, this shit, this, that shit. He wanted my number, basically. So I gave him my number, and he texted me. So he texted me on some, yo, I'm not going to say his name. He was like, yo, let me pull it up. Because, y'all, I still got the damn messages. He was like, yo, little mama, this blank. I'm going to cross out his name. And I'm like, who? Because, y'all, his damn, his business card and his Instagram name did not say this fucking name. His Instagram name and his business card did not say this fucking name. It literally said, I guess it was his nickname or whatever. So I'm like, who? With a question mark. He said, damn, you got a lot of niggas numbers tonight, huh? With a, and a, some laughing emojis. He said, April Fool. Don't play with me. Like, <laughs> like, listen, that kind of threw me off because it's like, why are you worried about other niggas already? Like, mm -mm. don't do that. Don't do that. Like, we coming on some collab and shit. Don't. Text me, damn, you got other niggas' numbers already. I get you trying to be funny and funny and start a little conversation, but that really just gonna rub me the wrong way because it's like, is you on some business shit or are you trying to fuck with me type shit? I left his shit on scene. <laughs> I left his shit on scene and then he texted me the next day like, yo, hey. And then the next day, he was like, what's your name again? <laughs> Boy, you know damn name. And y'all, in this story, we gonna call him Weirdo Collaboration. What can we call this nigga? <laughs> Cocky. Cocky. We're gonna call this nigga Cocky. We're gonna call him Cocky. So, Cocky texted me again and he was like, what's your name again? You literally know my name from my Instagram name and my YouTube name. So it's just like, hmm, I don't know. Maybe just trying to start a conversation. Like, I'm trying to look at the good and the bad, but it's just like the bad outweigh and the good right now. So he texted me like, damn, like, cause I didn't text back. <laughs> He's like, all right, shorty. <laughs> so the next day, y'all, the next day, now it's April 5th, yeah? It's April 5th, 2020, and I text him back, and I'm like, I'm like, hey, with an excellent smart. Hey, like, hey, how you doing? Like, I know I've been ghosting you and shit, but like, how you doing? I'm ready to talk now. I'm like, what's up? What's up, shorty? <laughs> so I text him, and he was like, what's up? With some, a whole bunch of question marks. Like, hey, listen here. Don't put all them damn question marks by me. <laughs> and he said, you ain't seen a motherfucker text you? I say, nah, not for real. Like, nah, not for real. Like, dead ass. Nah, not for real. Because, like, I just kind of looked over it. Like, after that, damn, you got a lot of motherfucking numbers tonight, huh? That shit kind of like, hmm? I don't fuck with you no more, bro. I don't fuck with you no more. Maybe, maybe we could try again in some days. But maybe when I let it go, we can try again. So, um... I said, nah, not for real. He texted me like the next day. It was like, yo, short, you busy when you trying to collab? I said, when you, ne I said, whenever you ready for real. Shit, what side you on? South, I said South is crazy. Cause y'all look, come on, South is, South is retarded. South is crazy as fuck. And then he said, funny shit ever, you must be West. I said, yep. And I don't really do YouTube for real, but I be making trailer videos. I know you be mostly on YouTube, right? But I be posting here and there. Cause y'all listen. Let me get out of rundown on my YouTube career last year. I mean, not last year, 2020. Um, I did videos. Like, I would do school interviews. This is me. Let me tell y'all the real me. I used to do school videos and um public interviews at school. 2019 vibes. I think it was 2018, 2019. No, no, 2019. Yep, 2019 vibes. I used to do public interviews in school. But y'all, um, when uh we got out, when we got let out of school in March, I kind of slowed down on my YouTube career because it was like I'm like, dang, I can't do nothing outside of school. All I really wanted to do was public interviews, like that's what I fell in love with. So that's what I want to do. But I also fell in love with you know birthday vlogs and get ready with me videos. But it was just like that just wasn't me for real. Like it was me, but it wasn't me. Like I don't know. If you understand, you understand. Like, I would throw some videos, vlogs in there every now and then. But, like, I never was a, oh, let's wake up and let's vlog my day type of girl. Because I never really, like, had a good life growing up. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. But if it does, it does. If it don't, it don't. Over, don't overthink that shit. But, yeah. And I didn't have a camera. So, that kind of failed my YouTube career also. Like, not having a camera really lowered me from posting on youtube like i had a lot of views and a lot of people that supported me back then but like once i stopped and took breaks and shit because i just never had no storage i never had no phone storage i just couldn't do shit i kind of fell back like 
for a year or two. Yeah, for two years. Yeah, I fell back. And I wasn't fucking with YouTube no more. Like, I didn't know what I wanted to do on YouTube. So, anywho, I was, um, that's basically, like, my rundown and shit. Like, I let him know, like, I don't really do YouTube for real. I make Trilla videos. So, at the time, Trilla was popping. Before Dove, what's that shit called? TikTok, Trilla was also popping, too. <laughs> I was on Trilla hard, heavy. I was on Trilla making videos all the motherfucking time. So, I let him know that. Like, if we could, you want to make some Trilla videos, we can. But if you don't, I understand. <laughs> Um, then, uh, he was like, yeah, I make small skits and do pranks on YouTube. And then he put some laughing emojis. I don't know what was funny in that moment. Like, I read his business card and said that shit already. So, I kind of just like, mm, okay. And then I was like, mm, okay. And then, what kind of video do you want to do? Because, like, if you want to do a YouTube video with me, let me know what kind of video. Because I hate going into a blank, blank eye. Like, if, if y'all don't know what a blank eye is, it's basically like not knowing what you're doing when you get there. Confused. Lost. In the sauce. Just there. <laughs> and I'm just not that kind of girl. This is going to be like, um, okay, we'll figure it out when we get there. So I was kind of like asking him, like, well, what video do you want to do? What video do you want to do? But he was like, he don't know. We could figure out when we, when we link up. Like, maybe we could brainstorm some ideas or something. I'm like, okay, uh, boy. What's his name again? Cocky. I'm like, okay, cocky. Like, we can do that. So, okay, back to the messages. Um... He said he wanted to collab April 19th or whatever. And I'm like, okay, where? And he said, that's south. And I said, damn, you far. Like, nigga, you far as shit. He was like, he was like where you at first? And I was like, never mind. It's okay. I could get there on the 19th, right? So, y'all, I was contemplating if I wanted him to pick me up that day because, listen, I'm not a person that's, that's going to be like, yeah, you could pick me up and now you know where I live. So I'm like, nah, you ain't got to pick me up. I could get a ride. And then a couple days later, he texts me. This is a regular conversation. He said, yo, shorty, your IG story. He said, yo, shorty, your IG story funny as hell. It was a time when I was with my mama. We had some fucking blue candy. And I posted that shit on where I started. It was just random ass shit. So I had um said, don't screenshot me. Like, what was you doing? <laughs> don't screenshot me. He's like, my bad. You know, I'm just playing with you. But what's up with the collab? Like, did you think about ideas? And I'm like, me? Think about this? I didn't know I was supposed to be thinking about it. I thought we was doing this for your channel. Like, I had no idea we was doing this for my channel. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, I didn't think... I, when I was going into the situation, I didn't even think I was gonna even be filming on my videos. On my channel. Like, or, or uploading or anything. So, he was like, yeah. Like, you supposed to be thinking of some ideas. I came up with two. But, I ain't gonna tell you them. Because we gonna wait till you get here. And I was just like, mm, I don't like the sound of that. 